Good evening, gentlemen and everyone else. Welcome to Maggot Has Nothing Better To Do. I'm your host, the Beard Maggot. I'm Maggot's co-host. All shall fall before me in time. Yes, this is Frugal, my co-host. Worship me, females. The boy after my own heart, wouldn't you say? Tonight on the show, we have an interview with Corrigus Travaclum, hero of the Intrigian War and overall cuddly guy. It's nice to be here, maggot. Of course it is, you putrid incarnation of inferiority. Let's go straight to the phones. We've got Vantrag calling from the interim colony. Vantrag, you're on the air. Uh, yes, I have a question for Corrigus. Whose monkey did you spank to become an admiral anyway? You wouldn't know tactics if they walked up and bit your... PUNISH HIM! Next caller, Crackmaster from Woodland Heights, Canada. You're on the air. Hello, Crackmaster. I shall submit to the Dark God Gaspork. I shall be destroyed. Repent that your souls may... Punish him! Screw the phones. So, Corrigus, what's it like being an interdimensional war hero with more chicks than a Torellian pimp? Well, I... Shut up, we're out of time. Stay tuned to the Maggot Show. <laughs> Maggots in her galactic seeds force rental. Buy tanks, buy guns, buy spaceships, buy everything! Kill everybody! Special this week only. Buy two Virtue Crusher class battleships and get a free canister of Bio Stomper 4, the most legal bio weapon ever devised. And now back to our program. <laughs> We're back with the Maggot Has Nothing Better To Do show, here with my co-host, the ever-entertaining Frugal, who, as you all know, is our sound guy here at Pain Giver Productions. So, I'm sure everyone's dying to know, what's your favorite song, Frugal? Hush, little baby, don't say a word, and never mind that noise you heard. It's just the beast under your bed, in your closet, in your head. Da -da -da I'm sure out of all the ways you could have answered that question, that was the least merciful. Sing us a little something else. The low rider got a little low. The low rider something, something, something. Give me a lyric sheet before I kick your teeth in. You are so incomprehensibly rude. That's why you hired me, jackass. True. But nonetheless, I shall have to teach you respect. Next caller, you're on the air. Uh, how can I be as cool as you? You can't. Next caller. Yeah, like, frugal is so sexy. Like... I'm not afraid to kill you, so just back off. Bye. A little sensitive, are we? I don't have your heart on a spit yet, maggot. Well, it's inevitable that somebody will. Gaspork Industrial. It is they who build the engines. It is they who take the lives. It is they who create the hatred. When you see a dark cloud forming, we're there. When you hear a child screaming, we are watching. When you die, we will know. Gas Pork Industrial! We make terrible things. This has been a public service announcement for the League for a Darker Tomorrow. So, we're back yet again. It seems every time I get a break, there's yet more freaks whose lives are so pathetic that they have to come clawing desperately into the studios here and beg me to grant some small sliver of light to their wretched, insignificant lives. Gee, maggot, I'm so sorry. I think I'm gonna start bawling. Me too. I touch even myself sometimes with my depth and sensitivity. Now, as usual, we have nothing better to do than go to the phones. Somebody talk to me. Anonymous from Canada, you're on the air. Gaspork shall devour! Gaspork shall descend on this world like a great big locust, and he will eat the sinners! Pledge yourself to- PUNISH HIM! 
I wonder if I'll ever learn. Well, I'm obviously going to have to head up to Canada to break up a cult of the Legios Gasporchium that has violated the sacred ethics of annoyance. This is the Beard Maggot, ordering you to tune in next week on Threat of Death. Ta.